What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kayla Cosmos. After traveling many countries in East and Southeast Asia, I wanna talk about why I think Taiwan is one of the best countries to travel in Asia, despite the fact that it is extremely underrated and not many people put it on their list like very high up at least. Now with that said, yes, I am extremely biased because I lived in Taiwan for two years, but I have been to so many countries around Asia. This past year of traveling in Asia, I have been to Malaysia, South Korea, Japan, Vietnam, the Philippines, where else? I feel like that's it. And in all of my travels and observing the different qualities and characteristics, for example, of the ease of travel somewhere, safety, food, I think when I combine a lot of these factors together, Taiwan scores pretty high on all of them. In my past year of traveling, I've also met a few backpackers that have visited Taiwan, and I think it's just so cool to meet people that are choosing to come to Taiwan because it's not somewhere that's really high on people's destination list. If they're going to spend the money to go somewhere more expensive than a lot of Southeast Asian countries, they're probably gonna be more likely to go to South Korea or to Japan. Those that choose Taiwan, I love it because you don't really know what to expect when you're coming to Taiwan. And I think that's what also makes traveling to Taiwan a unique experience. No like big reputation that it has abroad. Other than like people being like, oh, you mean the place that's like China or something like that? Like that's usually the response. Or people are even afraid to go to Taiwan because they're afraid of China. And I'm like, shut up, just come to Taiwan, okay? And it's so nice to hear from the people that did choose to come to Taiwan that a lot of them really loved it. And like, that just makes me so happy to hear. So if you've been thinking about coming to Taiwan, hopefully this video helps you make that decision. Because in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what makes it one of, in my opinion, one of the best countries to travel in Asia from like a range of things that you can experience and enjoy here. So let's get started with number one, the people here. I personally felt like in Japan, in South Korea, people could be a little bit more reserved and distant. But sometimes when I'm in Southeast Asia, for example, in the Philippines, I actually kind of get a little overwhelmed because they're not shy at all. And while I absolutely love making those connections, I am a little introverted. So I think Taiwan is a really good place in that it's kind of somewhere between that. People here can be a little reserved and a little shy, but at the same time, there are people that will just come up to you and be like, hey, do you need help? Which is like really, you know, sweet and also a really nice way that you can actually make a connection with the local people here. But with that said, I've heard mixed reviews from people. Some people are like, oh, Taiwanese people are so friendly and others don't really get to know Taiwanese people as much because unfortunately they just didn't get to talk with them as much because some people here are more reserved. I also find that when I stay in hostels or places that just kind of like to build a community, like the people there are gonna be awesome. For example, I think of the Dulan Friends Hostel and the owners there were so sweet. Like they wanted to make sure, you know, we had a great time as guests. They would invite us to do things. If they were like cooking or something, they would invite us. And it was just really cool to be able to get to hang out with them and get to know them. I also think of my other experiences when I went scuba diving in Kending and on Green Island, where my dive instructor would actually invite me to go and do stuff and like show me around places. I think if you're in a situation that sets you up to like be in like a little community or to be spending time around somebody for a few days, such as taking a diving course, then you're gonna feel really close to them and you're really gonna get to know them. Another thing about people and the overall culture here is that it's not at all scammy. People are very trustworthy, um, which this kind of goes the same for South Korea and Japan. So if you've been traveling in like Southeast Asia, for example, it's really nice when you come to Taiwan and nobody's really ever trying to hustle you. If you need to go work at a cafe, you could just leave your stuff out. I'm not saying that nobody ever gets robbed here, but it is quite nice to have that peace of mind while you're here. Another thing that's amazing about Taiwan is getting around. It is so easy to travel the entire country using public transportation. And if you have an international driver's license, then you are able to rent a car and I think maybe a scooter for a certain amount of time. I'm not exactly sure on that because I don't have an international driver's license, so I'm always stuck with an electric scooter. With that said, in Taiwan, there are so many options for getting around. So if you're in major cities such as Taipei or Kaohsiung, they have the metro. And also if you're in major cities, usually there are bike shares such as U-Bike, or even in cities, for example, like Hualien or Taidong, where they don't have a bike share system, you can actually rent a bicycle for the day and get around. Another thing that's super 
super convenient is the trains that go around the country. So you can take the high speed rail from Taipei all the way to Kaohsiung. And then there are the regular trains that go around the entire country. And you can even just use Google to figure out the times that the trains are running. There is an official website, but literally just using Google, I've been able to search like where I need to go and find those times. And then I'll usually go onto the official website just to confirm it. So you don't need to jump through too many hoops to actually figure out how to get somewhere easily. Sometimes in Vietnam or the Philippines, it's like I'm struggling, like how do I get somewhere? Um, because I do like to use public transportation, but if it's difficult to figure out, um, like it's just, it's just not so easy. Whereas with Taiwan, it's pretty easy to figure out how to do. The next thing I wanna talk about is what I think makes Taiwan stand out quite a bit from many countries in East and Southeast Asia is the fact that it's not too touristy. If anything, the majority of tourists that I see in Taiwan are Taiwanese people themselves. With that said, I do think tourism has been increasing in Taiwan. Even here on Xiaoliocho, I'm like seeing so many foreigners these days and I'm like, I don't ever remember seeing this many foreigners when I was visiting here. Um, but it's kind of cool to see people coming and visiting Taiwan. Having gone to touristy places in the Philippines, in South Korea, in Japan, it just has a quite different vibe. For example, in Japan, they're actually having issues because of having too many tourists, or they've had to close off that one street in Kyoto because of disrespectful tourists. Or for example, in the Philippines, some places that are very touristy, like when I was in Bohol, I was like constantly overwhelmed by people trying to sell me the same things, especially when I had already done them. Everybody's gotta make money, I get it. That's the thing that I like about Taiwan is that there are some places that are like touristy, but they usually never feel overwhelming. I really think it's a hidden gem in this sense because there's so many places you can go in Taiwan and there aren't really that many tourists, but you're still gonna have like the most special and amazing cultural experience. Moving on to my next point, another thing that is great about traveling in Taiwan is the fact that nature is so accessible. If you are into nature, if you're into surfing, free diving, scuba diving, hiking, all of these things are so accessible. For example, if maybe you can't do one hike because you need a car to get there, it doesn't matter because there's probably another hike within distance of where you're staying that you could take a bus to and then go on. There's hotspots such as Dulan where you can go surfing and there's not so many people there because it's just not a super hot surfing destination despite the fact that the waves are particularly great in the winter time for experienced surfers and are really good in the summertime for beginners living out here on Xiaoliocho, I get to hang out with sea turtles every single day and like, it is such a cool experience. There's incredible nature all around the world and particularly in Asia, you think about like Philippines, Vietnam, Japan, there's incredible nature. But I will say that if you're in nature, an outdoors enthusiast, the accessibility of it in Taiwan is there. Now let's talk about the food. To be honest, food all around Asia is incredible. I don't even have like a top three because I think they're all so delicious in their own ways. With that said though, in combination with all of the other amazing factors about Taiwan, having amazing food is one of them, especially the night markets. Actually, let's be honest, I think Taiwan has some of the best night markets in Asia, maybe next to Thailand. The food is something that makes Taiwan a destination well worth visiting. Another thing that's great about Taiwan is the convenience stores. I would put like maybe Japan convenience stores and then Taiwan, in my opinion. Um, South Korea also has great convenience stores as well as Thailand. And around Asia, they are overall quite popular. But I gotta say the convenience store game in Taiwan is pretty strong. So with all of these things from great transportation, amazing outdoor activities, friendly people, and not so touristy destinations, I think Taiwan really is an underrated and hidden gem when people are traveling in Asia. And in listing all of these out, I'm not saying that Taiwan has all of these things better than any country in Asia, but I think when you look at all of them and the pretty high standard of all of these things, Taiwan is definitely, I think, one of the most convenient and unique, fun places that you could travel in Asia. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have you visited Taiwan? What was your experience like? And if you're thinking about Taiwan and you have any questions, leave them in the comment section for me. I'm happy to 
you know, advise because I love when people want to come to Taiwan and discover it. And I'm so happy to just share about this place that I love so much. And if you want to see more Taiwan content, please subscribe to the channel or you can follow me on Instagram at Kayla Cosmos. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.